Hi, it's Jocelyn, and I'm about to do Avent to Code Day 10. Here we go. So we have a really weird format here, a bunch of lines with weird symbols. Okay, syntax going. Okay, where the character is, it opens and closes, but do not form one of the legal pairs listed above. Okay, so first of all, we have our pairs. Um, Um, and if it opens with something, it needs to close with the same one. We're going to represent this. Um, we're going to represent this as a uh, as a stack. So as a vec. Um, Okay, so if it's an opening character, I guess contains would also work there, that's fine. Um, then we say that, let me push this to the stack. Otherwise, we need to assert that it's correct. So, We're just looking for um, unmatched ones. In this case, it is corrupted. Okay, and now we have our point system. So that's worth 3, that's worth 57, that's worth 1197 for some reason, and this is worth that much. Okay. the score. Um, at this point we can break out of our loop for that line and continue on to the next line. Um, definitely want to test this one. Okay, and the score for this should be that number. So oh, yeah, this is this should be points, not pairs. And this should be line not input. Okay, we're getting the wrong um, wrong thing here. So let's see which lines are failing. So it's like 
that are like all invalid. Oh, the other thing I'm realizing is otherwise, like if there's nothing, then we can probably just break. That means that it's corrupted. Oh, sorry, that means it's incomplete rather. Um, okay, I'm just gonna hide this so I can see the output of the example. That is more than the five lines that are um, that are incomplete. So um, let's see, or that's more than the five lines that the thing says are corrupted. Um, let's see what it says. Expected, but found. Right, of course. Um, expected is actually just the, uh, it's actually this. Um, I'm just gonna say, um, I wanna call that C2, and then expected as pair is that C2. All right, and we get the right answer there. Um, and let's see if we get the right, um, the right uh, thing in it from our um, from our input. All right, there we go. Continue to part two. Now we're discarding the we this yeah now discard the corrupted lines and we're looking at the incomplete lines. Incomplete lines don't have any um, incorrect characters, and so they're missing some closing characters at the end of the line. Um, and we need to figure out the sequence of closing characters that complete all open chunks in the line. Find the middle score, just to keep things exciting. Okay, so uh, part B is going to look um, pretty similar to part A, at least at first. Um, so, um, okay. What I'm curious about is if this ever happens. Um, so this, this happens when we are getting a closing character um, that's not expected. Um, and just for when I finally get there, we'll do that. So let's see what this gives us. So yeah, none of these, um, this never happens, so we'll just panic if we get there. Um, so when we're at, okay, corrupt equals false. If we get to here, then we say corrupt equals true. Um, our point system for this section is different. And now that we're at the end, we have our nice little stack that we need to, um, uh, that we need to complete. So, um, 
Um, okay, this score times equals five, it says, and then this score, um, we add something to it. So we have um, the character in the stack, which is the opening character. Uh, we want the closing character for that. Um, and then we want the number of points for that. Um, and then, yeah, then this should give us um, the score. Okay, so scores is now a, a vector. And we want the middle one. So uh, scores dot sorry. And we want scores. Um, it says there will always be an odd number of, of things of sorts. So if there's three, the middle one is three divided by two floored, which is one. Perfect. Um, so then we can just say scores dot len divided by two. And hopefully this will give us the right uh, the right answer for the example. Um, if we don't forget any semicolons. Um, okay. Wait, are there two example tests? I'm confused about the output here. Oh, um, no, I just forgot about, I forgot to fill in part one. Anyway, we're getting the wrong thing for our example. Oh, um, that would help. And we are only considering um, the odd scores. Oh, sorry, not the odd scores. We're only considering the incomplete scores. So if it's not corrupt, um, then we're gonna do this. And just for this. Let's just assert that it's odd. Okay, we're still getting the wrong answer here. Um, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's look at the actual, let's look at what we're actually, um, look at what we're actually adding to get the line, to make the lines complete. So, completion equals, we'll start with an empty string, and then we'll see that um, completion plus equals that character, does that work? Hopefully it works. Um, then we'll say completing with that. So we're completing the line with the completion. Uh, let's see if that works. Looks like it wants that instead. Okay, so we have our answers. So, um, Oh, that is super wrong. Uh, the first one just doesn't match our BC. Oh, is this backwards? These totally are backwards. <laughs> okay, right, that, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll just do stack.reverse. That's why we're multiplying by five at each index. Very clever, very, very clever. Wonderful. And now we should get our answer. All right, that's a nice big answer. Let's see if it's right. Wonderful. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.